this is the session. We we on this thing talk about we gonna we gonna work on how to do uh, vocal alignment within Studio One and using Vocal Align Ultra. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let you know first things first, man. Um, I got a new streaming gear, got a new camera. I got some, you know. So hopefully, my the quality of my videos is much more improved, and you guys can actually enjoy. And be able to see what the heck going on on my screen for sure. All right. Um, so yeah, again, we're gonna talk about aligning vocal performances, the reason why we align vocal performances, and uh, you know, some techniques on how to do so. Mainly, I want to talk about though um, these the the functions within Studio One and Vocal Line Ultra. Let's go ahead and get to it. I need like a stream deck because I gotta reach over here. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anyway. So, a lot of the time you got um, performances with vocals and their stacks, their doubles, their dubs, whatever you want to call them, uh, or harmonies. And a lot of the time they're out of time or they're just not tight enough for the vocal performance to seem or feel like they are, you know, um, one performance or they're one um, entity. And they sound and like you'll catch that a lot. The way we recognize that is our ears will catch those S's, like the first like parts of the word, like pa, the transients or the the consonants. We'll catch that, and if those are out of time, it makes us feel like everything's out of time. Even if we end at the right point in time uh, tonally, if that T comes at the end of that at a different time than another performance that says that, it'll sound off regardless. Okay. So, um, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start with, if you have Studio One Pro, I believe, this is the version that you need, you want to be, you want to go ahead, and let's say you don't have Vocaline or any of these other fancy products, go ahead and um, select the audio you're trying to line up here, okay? You can hit uh, Option Z, or I'm sorry, Shift S to zoom into selection, or you can... Um, use uh what's it called yeah it's shift s on freaking windows too but anyway so check this out i got my vocal performance and they're pretty much in time but it's like they're just not hitting like very tightly like everything still seems kind of loose and you want that to be like certain songs call for it but other songs want you like pop songs that joint need to be tight right so let's take a listen to what's going on in this one you can let me start it right here. My bad. I got these feelings inside and I just can't hide it. Wanna throw you in positions, I can't deny it. I ain't been thinking shy lately. We can do some things, baby. So you can hear that. I mean, he did a real good job, you know, keeping the vibe between each track, uh, keeping the vibe between each uh, performance. Um, but the fact remains that if it could be that much tighter, it'll sound that much more professional. Let me zoom in even further. You'll see the differences. Um, oh, whoops. You'll see the differences here. Let me go back and zoom in on that selection again. You'll see the differences here if I zoom in very closely. If I zoom in even tighter, everything starts at a different time. And although that doesn't look like a big deal now, when you get to like, you know, actually trying to enjoy the song or what people don't like typically realize is that things start to sound unprofessional in certain songs. This song, not so much. It doesn't need to be too tight because it's got that, you know, that R&B, you know, that kind of loose vibe feel thing going on. But the fact remains, we should make it a look that much tighter to make it seem that much more professional. All right. So. In Studio One, audio bend. It's a, a, up at the top here, audio bend. Click that, and you just highlight all or select all the clips you want. It's on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, and hit the I button. That turns on your audio bend view, okay? What you want to do now, it depends on how detailed you want to get. You can either go sensitive or standard. I like to go standard because I don't want to move too much. It gets a little bit crazy, all right? And so what I want to do here is hit Analyze. Studio One will then detect like the transients or the beginning parts of sounds and put a bend marker on there. 
So now you can use these to drag around. You can actually manually drag around each of these, okay? And you can put it on time or whatever. So I'm going to do these. And you want to change it to, um, for vocals, you want to change it to pro mono, monophonic format. That's a tongue twister. And I just analyze one more time to make sure it's right. So this first um, track right here is what is going to be the guide, okay? You can also set up groups. So I'm going to set up groups here. I'm going to set it up as a group. So uh, you can do a uh, command G or is it a, uh, what is it? I don't, oh, it's just G. Oh, wait, I lied. Man, I forgot how to set up some doggone groups, baby. Let's see. Hold on. You can go to your right click on it. And, you know, you just go up here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I used to know how to make a group. But either way, if you make a group, it'll uh, you can set it up as such and then set your um, your guide here. I can't remember how to make a group. That's a shame. That is a shame. Unless I already hit the button and I don't know what I did. All right. Well, uh, let's figure it out. Group. Group. Select. Oh, yeah. Control G. I did it right. I just didn't know that I did it right. All right. So you actually got to do uh, the uh, track. It's on the track basis, not a clip basis. Control G. Boom. Group one. I'm just going to call it group one. You can name whatever you want. But as you can see, the guides change. And then at that point, you can actually select which one you want the rest of them to follow. So I, I want the, so I think I liked number six. I, these should be named, but anyway, I'm going to, I want them to follow that one because that performance to me was the best one at the time. Okay. So now I'm going to take these a bit down here. I don't want it to get too crazy. And this is I'm going to set it to quantize. You can, or if you're doing some like sound design, you can slice them on tempo or whatever, but I'm not going to do all that. So, I'm going to turn the strength down a little bit because I don't want things to be on the grid as if I would drums. Vocals are different. So, I put about maybe around 20%, turn the threshold down. That determines how, you know, how detailed it gets with the, um, with the uh, points there. And then all you have to do is hit apply. Now, things are aligned. You see how quick that was? I know I did a lot of talking, but... You know, once you get these steps down, it's easy. You make your group. So I got my freaking hook group of vocals. And then what I did was set the one I wanted to listen to, um, analyzed it, and then set the threshold. And now these are all aligned. So red means that it's being stretched. Green means that it's being shortened. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. But red means, hey, you're stretching. It's kind of giving you an indicator that, um, you know, you're you're pushing it pretty far to fix that though let's say you did over uh did too much you can hit restore and it'll pull everything back okay real easy i really dig that about studio one so in order to pre prevent like a lot of red you might you kind of want to put more um you're going to want to put more uh bend markers you see and i don't know why that one's the only one all right i'm just gonna remove them you can actually remove all of them I'm going to highlight those again, uh, hit analyze again, turn up that threshold, boom, and then once again, it, you know, that's already set. We've already got it set. The strength, I put at 20%, and now they're aligned. They're pretty much aligned again, but now they're a bit more detailed, so these s smaller lines here or the closer lines will be a bit more detailed towards whatever's going on uh, on the guide, okay? So let's take a listen to how it sounds now. I got these feelings inside and I just can't hide it. Wanna throw you in positions, I can't deny it. I ain't been thinking shy lately. We gotta do some things, baby. And boom, that's, that's all you have to do. And this is within Studio One. People, a lot of people don't talk about it because it's it doesn't make sense to them. But this is, you know, before I had vocal line, this is what I was doing to get things sounding nice and tight, nice and, and in time, which is really fire. All right, let's say, um, and, you know, you, you could save yourself some money by doing this instead of buying 
Cause smoking line, that joint expensive. I ain't gonna front with you. I wish I had an endorsement. But anyway, I'm gonna remove that, restore the and restore the timing, and I'm gonna get out of the bin marker. That's the bin marker. You can do that with drums, you can do that with vocals, you can do that with drums and like audio tracks. I don't know if you can do that with MIDI. I don't I don't recommend you do that with MIDI because you can just I think you just set it up through the MIDI. But anyway, all right, so the cool thing about Studio One is there's this thing called vocal line, I mean, um, ARA. Um, ARA is Access Audio Random Access, okay? What that means is the data within the DAW, like these audio um, clips, get sent to a plugin, and the plugin and the information is commuted to the pl communicated to the plugin, then back to the DAW, and then vice versa, but back and forth. And so we're talking about information such as track name, the actual audio itself, the changes being made in the plugin, the changes being made in the DAW. So they're feeding off of each other and it's all real time. OK, and so that's what I love about Studio One and, I, and Logic Pro also has it. So let me show you how we execute that here. For the most part, almost all ARA plugins need to go on the um directly on the audio right there's two ways you can do it in, in studio one so you can search i'm gonna go search vocal line and i'm just gonna add the vst3 version boom once again or you can go in the menu like when you install vocal line in studio one it actually brings up like new shortcuts when you right click on events and stuff so this is what I was looking for, this capture. It's weird when it's weird on the other thing. I think it's just screwing up. But anyway, so this is how I choose my guide. So let's say I want the same guide on the uh in the in the performance. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out also. Oh, where you at though? Where you at though? There we go. There we go. Now we cooking with grease. All right, so um, what you want to do is, this is the guide. You just want to select, make sure you select your preset. I'm going to go um, harmony, and I'm just going to say tight timing. That's the preset. You always want to start with a preset first. Select my track that I want to, um, uh, as the guide. And then, hold on, let me turn this off real quick. Let me just go one. Boom. It's still, oh, because I got it set as a group. Sorry. So control shift G. And now I can do what I need to do. You don't want to have groups. So f with that, it's kind of annoying. All right, boom. Set this as my guide. Capture. It captured that audio information right away, okay? That's the power of vocal line in ARA. In other DAWs, you have to sit there and like record it into the plugin. And that is super time consuming, super time consuming and very annoying, quite frankly. All right, so now I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna select uh, my, the rest of the tracks that I want. So it's gonna be this, this, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. There's faster ways of doing that. But because I'm using Vocal Line Ultra, you can do multiple clips and just hit capture. And now it's going to capture that data from each clip that we have Vocal Line Ultra on and start aligning those, those audio information. See how quick that was? Boom. Now all, and it looks like one window, but all that stuff is captured now. All those, all those, those uh, clips are track are captured, and this final output is where they're aligned. I got this thing set to zero milliseconds. I kind of want it to be a little bit more natural. I'll put it at maybe like 10, 15. Let's go 15. High resolution. What that's going to do is high resolution makes things um, process more accurately, so to speak. So let's take a listen um, at that point in time here. I got these feelings inside and I just can't hide it Wanna throw you in positions, I can't deny it I ain't been thinking shy lately We could 
do some things, baby. Well, I got so I think this process is very well. What what I believe the biggest difference is between using the stock thing in Studio One is the vocal line takes in accountability of the S's and the, the plosives and the consonants and line those up also. It recognizes that information. So it sounds even tighter, um, much more tight. So a drawback of this ARA thing, or well, vocal line in particular, I don't know how to bypass, so I can't really like do an A-B without going back and doing all kinds of other stuff. But rest assured, I know you hear the difference. It's just much tighter than it was before. It's much more coherent than it was before. Hey, I got these feelings inside and I just can't hide it. Wanna throw you in. Actually, I think this would be the um, uh, bypass. So let's go ahead and put that back. I'll put it close enough. And let's say, I'm gonna turn off match timing. You see how that shifted? Hey, I got these feelings inside and I just can't hide it. Wanna throw you in positions, I can't deny it. Oh, I ain't been thinking shy lately. Oh, we could do some things, baby. baby. Well, hey. Everything just sounds much more professional when things are in time, especially vocal performances. Now, like again, like I said, with pop vocals, it's uh they got to be right they got to be on point and i hope you know that helped you guys out um those two tips using studio one's um uh audio bend which is actually really good compared to some others that i've used or at least because i understand it um and then vocal line ultra is just a quick way to get everything even that much more closely to being sounding professional in time and on point I hope y'all enjoyed that live. Um, I didn't see much, many questions, but I hope y'all, you know, uh, enjoyed that. Y'all can go back and review the beginning. Uh, check that out. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up in the comments. You can DM me on Facebook, Instagram, yada, yada, yada. Go to my website, mixedbytoryg.com. Uh, shout out to Vocaline, or not Vocaline, Synchro Arts. That's who makes Vocaline and Presonus, who makes Studio One. Great companies, great products. I'll see y'all again soon.